All right, guys, welcome back. Hey, everyone. Guys. Well, spring is finally really starting to show itself here in Kodiak. Um, I guess on the agenda today is we're going to start getting some halibut gear loaded up and brought down to the boat. Get ready to go out and catch some nice halibut and ship some orders out to you guys. Yeah, so I guess we'll just start by grabbing our tubs of gear over here. Um, got our hydraulic bank, we can bring that down, get that hooked up. We'll load up our reel, which is over there, probably this afternoon. Hoping we can maybe get it loaded tomorrow. That'd be fine. And uh, that should be a pretty simple turnover here. Yeah. There's not really much to it. No, it's, it's really fast. So. Yeah. So yeah. I guess we'll start with loading this stuff up and bring it on down. We got our anchors here, our buoys, the bridles are still on, so that's nice. Yep. Usually we would have taken these off and used those for our tanners, but there was no season this year. This is all our, so, easy. our halibut gear here. Yep, Those are all go. tubbed up and mobile. That's the nice thing about this kind of gear is that there's no overhauling it pre-season or anything. Yep. Pretty simple. Yeah, we we reel it on for the last set of the season and then just pack it up home. There's no going back through the tubs to unhook all the old bait or missed fish that didn't get shaken off. Yeah, so for those of you that don't know what we're talking about, there's um, essentially there's, there's two types of longline gear. Uh, one is snap-on, which is this. It's a, a hook on a ganyan with a snap that you physically snap to your long line uh, as it's going out off the reel. And then there's another type called fixed gear where the line is coiled into the tub and the hooks are affixed to it. The ganyans are tied to the line, the hooks are affixed to it. And you basically, it looked the same except there would be line in here pretty much completely to the top. And uh, you start out with a tub that looks like this. All the hooks are pinned on the outside. That's what you do at the end of the, the season or the end of the trip. When you're finished, you have to go through the tub. You have to clean off all the bait and you pin all the hooks on it. And then the tub is clean and you can store it away. And then when you go to bait it up, you basically do the same. You go from a full tub into an empty one and you've got about a, a one to two fathom eye on the end before your first hook starts and that gets hung over the tub outside of the tub and then as you bait them you place your baits inside the tub and you coil the line in such a way that it doesn't snag and get drug out in one big wad which is called a snarl. When I began fishing and long lining that's the boat I was on had fixed gear and uh, back in the derby days of 24 hour openers before we had uh, before the fishery was privatized and went to a uh, IFQ type program, um, it was really advantageous to use fixed gear because you could set it and haul it very quickly. The boat I was on was a 75 footer and we would lay out in excess of 30,000 hooks and haul it in a 24 hour period. And so the more gear you could put in the water and the quicker you could pull it, the more money you made. So there was guys back then that also fished with snap-on gear, but they're primarily smaller vessels that didn't have deck space for all that gear and uh, and maybe fished in some different areas where there was a, a higher abundance or CPUE, which is a catch per unit effort of halibut. So snap-on works great for our small boat just because you don't have to manage a bunch of tubs with gear in them. You're not constantly tying tubs down to keep them from sliding around. You don't have to go through miles and miles of gear afterwards, well before and after, because you have to bait it, so you're, you're literally handing, handling all the line. And this is you just, as it comes in, you take the bait off and you hook it on the, the tub and you're done. Okay guys, so got all our gear loaded up. We're gonna head down to the harbor. Um, we just wanna take a quick moment to remind you guys that uh, our share boxes are available for pre-order. Uh, once we go out and catch this halibut, we'll be done for a while. I'm not sure if we'll have another offering this summer or not. 
So if you don't order now, you may not have another opportunity till later this fall when we go catch the remainder of our halibut. So if you guys are interested, um, you might want to get your orders in now. We're just going to have a very limited amount of inventory that we're going to carry through the summer for small orders, but we won't have any more share boxes available until later. So yeah, if you guys are interested in the halibut or cotton rock for sure box, check us out at EISalaska.com. And we wanted to say thank you to everybody that's already placed halibut orders. Yep, you look, be on the lookout for an email here in the next few days um, with a shipping announcement, I guess, kind of our timeline. And uh, we'll be sure to contact everybody before we do ship to make sure you're available to receive your order. Want to put a little soap on them? Nope, they smell good. They There's stink. Covered in stink yeah, I suppose, but man, they stink. That's your bait chopping cocoa mat, right? No the cocoa, -cocoa mat. On mat. This boat. No, I know it's in replacement of. It's a rug. Yes. Cocoa mats are nasty. Yeah, I'm pretty gross. Uh, Careful, T. Hey. Spidey? Mr. Slug going for a ride. Oh. He's a seafarer. Sea slug now. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Going to get more. Oh, uh, our crap fest this year is just booths. Food booths and clothing or arts and crafts, that kind of stuff. But good eats. Didn't get any rides this year, but that's okay. You get what you needed, hun? Yeah. You need me to mount this somewhere to help you? Nah. I'm just one bolt here, so. It's been nice for Maddie, huh? Yep. Well, it really doesn't get very much easier than that. <laughs> for setting up. Only one? Yeah. Huh. One bolt. That's enough. Well, I think I'm just going to... Connect the wires 
gonna get this jig machine out of the way. Just taking the leads off and we'll leave them hooked up. It's a breaker inside that cuts the power out here, so these aren't live or anything. But we do need this out of our way. So I can put my hydraulics here and also my throttle and steering jog lever back here. Free and clear now, huh? Nice and easy. <laughs> so we'll take a few of these off. Anyways, at least the back ones. Are you taking those off when we get the reel? Are yeah, you... bring them home right now. Uh-huh. I'll have to return that cart anyways, so. Don't want to take Tuck too it much. Out of the way. Yeah, don't want to take too much. Well, well, we're just gonna go jigging again, anyways. So no use disassembling all this stuff. It can just stay. Did you get the uh, cart off of somebody or? Yeah. Who you? Who did you get the it guy from? guy over at the sea surgeon, we saw him down there with it. He had some, looked like some water or something in it. Oh, there's, there's one over there. Was he done with it? Yeah. He was standing there on the phone and then we were about ready to give up and saw him walking back this way and it's like, oh, he's done. Perfect timing, huh? Yeah. Comes the boys. Another load. Load of hooks. Yeah, that was perfect timing on the cart. Fine. The cart is straining. Oh my. Oh. Oh good. my. We probably forgot our rail wrap, huh? Yep. Gonna put it on there and eat. Probably not. Just drape that. Just take that jig machine off and that'll be good, huh? Just drape that other piece of carpet over it. Okay. That coat was a mistake. Well, a little dab and never sees on these bolts. Keep them happy. Keep us happy when they don't get galled <laughs> up. And weld each other to together. So this is a pretty simple hydraulic setup. Just connect four hoses, reconnect four hoses. Get a lot of comments why we don't use quick disconnects on these. Just, you know, honestly, they're kind of expensive and it's just another thing to fail. The hard plumb these in only takes about 10 minutes. It's no big deal. Very few boats actually use quick disconnects. Got O-rings in there that can fail. If they leak, I mean, you're polluting the ocean. So better just to have a little bucket to contain any spill when you disconnect them and be done with it. If we were taking the stuff on and off, like farmers do their implements would be a different story multiple times a day or multiple times a week but 
This gear literally comes on one or two times a year. It's not a big deal to take it, take it back off. Matter of fact, we usually just leave this hydraulics hooked up after we do put them on for the year. So even if we go back to jigging, this valve right here will be fine to leave there. So all we'll have to do is just break these two hoses right here, loop them on the end like they are right now, and we can run our hydraulic system and leave these hooked up. to go right there and I'm just gonna come down here these are hard lines going forward so all I have to do is just attach these two hoses right there these two go to the reel we'll get them up here along the rail and get them lashed to this out of the way and then I just have one line up there that I need to break and tie into this hard plumbing right here and that's good to go nice and easy What do we got invested in this? About an hour and a half now. About that. It's that. No handle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's really quick. We we have it down. It's down to a science at this point. Don't hurt yourself here. You want to lift this a little bit? Huh? Go ahead. Oh, I can't even move it. It's going to slide it a little bit. Oh. Mom's too weak. Anchors next. Can't get that other tub out. Uh, yeah. Uno momento. Uno momento. Uno momento. He has a certain way, hon. Well, normally you put it the other way so these things don't hang up on the staff when you're trying to pull them up. There you go. So these don't like get hung up. That's what they usually do. But it can't be helped. That gusset thing's annoying. Oh, careful. Back. What do you think those weigh? About two pounds. Wait, no move. No idea, dear. Those navy anchors are so much nicer than the kedge. We should probably check the pins on them. Yep, probably should. I think they're still good. I think they'll have them for half the width. Oh. Nice. Check your out. Oh, we need a couple new ones, huh? Like you said, hun. What's new? Like the new one that we did buy has actually been thrown away already. That's bad. Yeah. Do they have two different kinds of cheap and cheaper? Nope. <laughs> they have one kind, old and new. Oh. Let's see if someone's got some old tubs for sale and get a couple. Yeah. There was someone on Mission Road that was selling them one year, but yeah. All right, well, I guess that's it already for now. A few odds and ends to grab from home. Um, our tow, oh, our tow. Yeah, tow to stuff. Implements is all. Yeah. Oh, look at that big boat. That's a pretty boat. That one's a beast.
don't look so good. I was glad you boys cleaned it off before they had the races down here. Look good in the pictures. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice clean water line. I'm excited to see what our speed is now. <laughs> I think I actually had a dream about like actually having more speed. I bet we'll probably pick up at least we'll we'll pick up half a knot. Yeah. It was there was a lot of like uh barnacles and yeah. those sea worm casings. The stuff on your waterline line runs down. Yeah. Too. The widest part of the boat. Um, do we want to get this now or later? Um, just grab that one up. Oh, we got the tote, so yeah. that's good for now. That's good. Yeah, shall we? Yep. All right, we're going to mosey home. We'll get our uh, long line reel loaded up in the back of the truck while it's nice out. Got to take advantage of good weather here. Yep, it's supposed to be raining tomorrow. Yep. Blowing Holding up the reel is one thing down here, but loading it and stuff isn't as much fun. Yep. Aluminium on aluminium. Really? Yeah. That's what we want. You go around the legs or just on the leg? Go around the legs. So of course there's easier ways to do this, but that would require hiring a boom truck. Dave's just helping out here in the back. Yep, that's me, just being a helper. Just prying up on the back of the reel Hold so it slides in easier. You made the chain loose, hun. Yeah, I know, that was my plan. <laughs> See, there's like a notch in this rock right here. I curved that out specifically for that, actually. No, you didn't. I chiseled that out <laughs> with my little rock hammer. Uh, you know I, I did. Ordered a rock hammer from a guy named Red, and I carved that out over the course of many years. That's not true at all. I think you're being true me. What did you just call him? I called him obtuse. I can't believe he just called me obtuse.
Perfect. Let's see, these gotta go down? Yeah, no? Yeah. Yes. Huh? No. No. These are for the bait chopper. chopper. That was a test. The deckhand should know. Like I said, that was a test for the skipper. Good thing he passed. All right, ready to roll. As easy as that. Pretty easy. Yeah, well, like Dad says, could be easier ways, but we have a boom, boom truck on hand and don't really feel like hiring one. Yeah. I mean, that was a 15-minute job. Maybe eventually we'll have a nice dock here that's raised up and we can back up to it and just roll it off the pallet jack. Yeah. That would be ideal. A good thing you took the keys out of the ignition. I'd hate to have someone steal our truck while we're right here loading this <laughs> reel in the back. Hey, you never know. Look at the ravens. They came in and ransacked us. Uh, when we weren't looking. Yep, word to the wise, folks. Don't leave your garage door open and then we goof off inside for a few hours. We got garbage sitting right there, waiting to go to the dumpster. They had a feast. Ravens are very intelligent birds. And they're always watching. Actually, they love to hang out at Safeway and Walmart here and uh, wait for people to put groceries in the back of their pickup trucks and then ransack them yep. when they go to the other store. They ate two, two pounds of cheese like in less than 10 minutes that was in back of our truck. Yep, just left a wrapper there. Didn't touch the veggies, <laughs> but that cheese was gone. Not even a crumb left. <laughs> just an empty bag. All right, guys, so we're all loaded up, ready to head to the plant in the morning. We'll bring the boat over and they'll hoist that reel down onto the deck and we'll get it bolted in. Yep. Until then, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. Yeah, head on over to our website at eisalaska.com. Get yourself some nice halibut, cod, or rockfish. Thanks, guys.